Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sienna Beauty. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If not, well, welcome back. <laughs> so today I created this beautiful rainbow look. Um, yes, yes. Yes, very beautiful. Oh my goodness, was it so hard to like, replicate this. Here's a secret for you guys. Anytime you see a beauty guru, just show you one eye and not the other side. It's because they didn't do the other side because it's so hard to replicate. Oh my God. Have you ever tried doing a wing on this side and then doing it exactly the same on this side and like make it perfect? Honestly, like it took probably 10 or 20 minutes just to do the wing. Where was I? Uh, okay, so. We are going to be doing a rainbow look. Yay! I paired it with a rainbow highlight as well. Um, and I just think it's a fun look. Obviously, like, you wouldn't go out on the town with this. I mean, maybe you would. More power to you if you would. But I feel like it's just a cool look, like, if you're bored or, I don't know, if you have a special holiday or something you want to go to, and this look is good for that. Maybe you're having a rainbow party. Oh my god, a rainbow unicorn party. That would be the best thing ever. Okay, this tangent is way too long. Let's get to the point. So I'm gonna be testing out this palette today. It's the Take Me to bleh, bleh. It's the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition. Do you guys want to see the palette? I do. Okay, ready? Oh. So obviously I've used it already, so it's kind of yucky. Yes, maybe I'll clean it a little bit. But yeah, so this comes with 35 shades, and they're all gorgeous. They're all shimmery colors. So I've actually never done a color look before, and because of that. I feel pretty impressed with myself. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I was really scared going into this because I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know if colors would be hard to blend or if it would look bad or like fall out or anything. Um, you'll see what kind of happened. We had a little incident. Um, I think this is a great palette if you guys want to check this one out. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I created this video. I'm going to do a little voiceover so it's a little faster tutorial. T -t 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 Why can't I ever say that word? Alright guys, let's just get right into it. Distari is my favorite concealer as sort of like a eyeshadow primer instead of an actual eyeshadow primer because <laughs> I'm smart. And then I just blend it in with my fingertips. And like I said, we're going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette. And then we're going to be taking this red color and put it in the inner corner of our eyes. I'm using a small pencil brush here and I'm kind of just dabbing the color onto my eyelid and then I'm just constantly patting and blending the color into my skin. Next I'm taking this ready orange color and I'm putting it right next to the red. I started right on top of the red color and then I'm just patting a little bit off of the red color and this is just going to help with the transition between the two colors. And then remember to blend the two colors together too. Next I'm going with this yellow color and I'm going to be patting this right next to the orange color. And oh my gosh, Mayday! What is this? Is this fallout? I tried brushing it off but that didn't work so I just ended up putting concealer over it and called it good. Okay, back to your regular schedule program. So now we're moving on to this green color and honestly I'm just doing the same technique. Obviously it's a different brush but I was just changing up some brushes to see which one I like better and I think the flatter brush is better for patting in but I definitely like the smaller pencil brush for the inner corner. All right next we're moving on to this gorgeous blue. So yeah honestly same technique just patting it in, blending the two colors together. Obviously I didn't take it all the way up to my eyebrow. I kind of created this shape that I enjoyed for eyeshadows. All right, then moving on to this purple color, and I do realize I forgot indigo, and I feel awful because I love indigo, but whatever, we're just using this purple, but... And I'm sort of creating this outer V shape too, so I just wasn't getting the pigment and the sparkle that I wanted, so what I ended up doing was getting my MAC Fix Plus, and what I would do is I would just spritz the color and then apply it that way, and I was getting so much more pigment. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. And then I honestly just went over every single color again with this method. Oh my goodness, this took forever. But you know what, I just kept doing it and I kept blending and I kept spritzing it in until we finally got a final product that I was proud of. Unfortunately, there was some fallout, so I did take a wipe to remove some and then I covered it up with some concealer. And then I just took a fluffy brush and I just started blending all the colors together so there was a seamless gradient rather than just harsh lines. Next, I just put what I did on my lids on my bottom lash line just to reflect it and make it look more dramatic. And then I went in with a white jumbo crayon and just lined my waterline. This just makes your eyes look bigger. Next, I took a black crayon eyeliner and I lined my tight line. This just makes my eyelashes look fuller and it also makes your eyes look more dramatic. Then I applied my eyeliner and I just used my favorite eyeliner by Stila and I just kept adding and more and more until I got the thickness that I wanted and the length that I liked. 
Make sure to check out my other videos on how I apply my eyeliner if you're curious. For this look, I really wanted to make it look dramatic, so that's why I kept making the wing look bigger and bigger. Next, I'm taking the white color on the left side of the palette, which has more of a pink undertone, and I'm using this to highlight my brow bone, as well as the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm taking the white one on the right side of the palette, which has more of a blue undertone, and I'm just highlighting the purple and the blue that I added on my eyelid. Next, I'm taking my favorite mascara and putting this on my top and bottom lashes. Then I'm using these Kiss lashes, and I just wanted to let you know that they come with an applicator, which I thought was pretty cool. I like to bend the lashes a bit to make them more malleable, and then I apply some lash glue, blow on it, make it more tacky, and then I'm just applying the lashes. Watch my other video to see how I apply these if you'd like to know. And this applicator is pretty cool too because it has a curve and it fits right into the curvature of your eye. So I'm able to just press the lash onto my actual lashes. Next I'm applying some more mascara just to make the lashes look more uniform. That's basically it and I guess time for a weird montage. <laughs> Last but not least, we have to apply that rainbow highlight. So I'm just applying this onto my cheek and then I'm blending it in with a highlighter brush. All right guys, so this is the final look. I am so impressed and like proud of myself. This is my first time ever doing a colored look. This palette is only $20 and it's insane that this is so cheap. It's so pigmented. I do recommend though using a setting spray. I use the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. And basically you wanna dip it into the product, spritz it, and then sometimes when you spritz it, it like takes some of the powder off. So then I just dipped it in again and then press on. Don't like rub it in, but like press the powder, the product on. And that really um, made it more vibrant and made the sparkles come out. As you guys saw, without me doing the setting spray first, the color just wasn't vibrant, it just didn't look that good. It just, I don't know. But I think this is such a great palette. I know that all the colors are kind of small, but you get a huge range for someone just starting. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I see you guys. I see you. <laughs> But yeah, so I think this is a great palette for someone just starting out. So last video I asked you guys what your favorite color is. This video I'm going to be asking you if you could go anywhere right now in the world and had an infinity amount of money, it would just everything paid for, where would you go and why? <laughs> um, my answer, let's see. I think I would go to Italy right now. As you guys may know, um, my name is Sienna. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> but I was named after the Italian city, uh, Siena in Italy. That's, I just said that. But yeah, I just, I've always wanted to go and visit the town I was named after. So that is where I would go. And I look forward to seeing your guys' responses. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.